Hey everybody, Standing Ovation here with another hockey card break. Thanks for stopping by. Tap the like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe if you're into watching hockey cards get ripped open because that's what happens on this channel. I do do the other sports from time to time too. I love ripping cards. It's why I'm here. I got some blaster boxes from upper deck from this year's 23-24 as 24-25. It's just around the corner. We're still waiting for 22-23 products and a whole bunch more 23-24 products. I'm going to go back and rip a blaster of each. I've done this with Hobby. Four packs from each. Well, there's four packs in each of these to get 12 pack rip here from each series. Now, you don't get the uh, numbered exclusive stuff that you get in Hobby, but who knows? Might get a Bedard, might get a Bedard, might get an SP. It, you could head up, actually, there is potential hitting a Bedard in all three of these boxes, however slim. However, if you checked out my other videos, I think it's on the shorts, uh, I did hit a Bedard out of a blaster once before in the series two, but. That was a long time ago. I've ripped a lot of stuff open on this channel. As I just look at the calendar, it's just past two years now that I've been doing this on YouTube. Thanks to everybody who's joined and, and subscribed to the channel along the way. I had no idea where I was gonna end up. I, I didn't even know if I'd be here for two years when I started doing this. My intent was to get more sales on eBay, which is something I've been doing for, well, since the 1900s. I've sold on eBay since 1999. Had a lot of great success there and a lot of fun. And I've learned how to use it pretty well to make my uh, sales on eBay. I used to do card shows a lot more than I do now. Having said that, I've just done my third card show in the past few months uh, here in the Vancouver area. I'm gonna be doing a, another one next month as well. And one in October, I said the Burnaby Card Show in September I'll be at. I might be at the Van City Card Show downtown in October and then I'll be back at the Langley Western Canadian Sports Card Show in November for the three-day show there. I love selling cards. This is what I do for a living. I just want to make a comment on that. I've seen some comments along the way. I, got, I mean, I'll read them all. I know I'm a little brutal on the cards. I, my hands are not as dexterous as they used to be. I, I've damaged both my hands over the years working hard. Um, and I've actually, when I was young, I cut my fingertips off on this hand. So I do have a little bit of a fumble finger problem, which I just accepted, but I forget that other people are watching and it makes a big impression on people when they see me attack the cards the way I do. I rip packs open the way I do just because I've ripped so many packs in my life. And I've never really thought about damaging cards by how I open them. Dropping them doesn't help. I'll do a better, try to do better uh, for my presentation to not be so rough in my approach on the cards and show them the respect they deserve. Yeah, and, and as far as me doing this for a living, that is a fact. I do not have another job. This is my full-time income by choice. A couple of years ago, I was taken out of the work industry by medical reasons. I don't have a disability. I'm not living on a disability as some people might think. I didn't ever say that. I have been somewhat disabled at points in my life, but I'm doing okay now health-wise. I just find it very difficult to stand for 40 hours or more, which I did more than 40 hour work weeks. Standing for 40 hours a week is tough on anybody. Working hard is what I did for my whole life. And physically, I just can't do it anymore. So I'm trying to transition to another career using eBay as a tool along the way and YouTube because I am generating a small income doing this. But that's what drives me. That's my passion. My cards are my passion. And for those that think that I just do this like an ass out here for no reason. I, I mean, I, I get that. I kind of portray that character in my in my approach. I don't want to be um, negative against the hobby. There's enough negativity in this hobby. I know we've all seen problems with QA and quality and just getting people getting ripped off. And that's I, I, I don't talk about that just because it, it is part of the hobby. I don't want to cast a negative image to those that are new. I love doing cards and I'll always try to be positive in my videos. So Having said all that, if you're still even watching, let's rip open some cards. I'm gonna to try to be a little bit more engaging with the audience as I go and not be just some character behind the camera. I don't really wanna put my face out there just because anonymity is nice. Uh, but some of you guys have been meeting me at the card shows. You know, I'm not that hard to get along with and I love making deals. I like to see both parties walk away from a deal happy. That's, the way, that's my goal when I'm selling in cards. But I don't have any sponsorship. This is all done by my own savings. I have saved all my life to get to where I'm at. I am uh, living off those savings and generating an income selling sports cards. Now, it's not, um, you know, I'm not driving a Ferrari. Don't get me wrong. But does it does allow me to do something I love doing, ripping packs open. And... Uh, so for now, this is, this is, I just don't want you, to, some people to really have this image that I'm just this rich guy, just ripping stuff for no reason. That's not what this is all about. So anyway, I've babbled on and on. I, I, I do that very well. Um, and perhaps that's where I'm getting success on YouTube. I like to talk. I like to babble. So sorry if my character turns you people off. There's lots of channels out there to watch other than me. 
And in the meantime, for those that are here to, and enjoy it along the way, thanks. I, I can't thank you all enough. It's been a lot of fun and I can intend on keep on going. So I've changed my backdrop a little bit just to kind of, this is not like a flex. This is just me. I live with sports cards. There are boxes around me all over the place. I just pulled a few out to make a display here just to sort of show. I do do this for a living. This is not my, you know, I'd love to rip every one of these boxes, but that doesn't, that's not how it works. Holy cow, look at me go. How many minutes in and I haven't even, I haven't even, uh, haven't even ripped a pack. Here we go. Okay, we're starting off. Let's just go through the base and get to the middle. Nothing really big gonna come out of the base at this point. I actually have a market for all of my base cards too. So if you people ever wonder what happens to my base, I have a guy who buys all of my base cards and uh, only for hockey though. So it's tricky to get rid of football, baseball, and basketball. But first insert, Matthew Nye's special edition. And looking at the camera, I gotta remember, I'm trying to get a better studio lighting and a better camera, but right now I'm using a desk lamp. So sorry for that bad glare right there. Try to be more aware of that. The canvas checklist, AO and Leo, my first young guns, another Blackhawks. What was there, seven or eight young guns with Blackhawks? David Gust, this is not a young guy. If he gets a lot more action, I'll be surprised. Miko Rantanen, Cheadle, Slapkovsky, and Konecki. Yeah, David Goost was one of my SPX hits. I got a nice uh, Goost out of my one pack there, which wasn't as nice as the other card that I had in that box. Check out my other videos. I have a lot of work to get my items on eBay up to date, but as I'm doing card shows now, I'm not as racing to get my cards on eBay the way I used to, so sorry if some of these cards have not been made available to the world yet. I do have a lot of listing to get caught up on. We got a Tyson Forrester, SPX Hall of You. Hit a few of him. I had an auto and uh, a recent allure break of him. There's Edvinson and Devin Levi, retro young guns. Him and Uka Pekalukanen gonna be the guys of the future there in Buffalo. There's Aiden Hill, one of my favorite goalies. He's from Vancouver Island where I was living for a while. I have my cousin living up in Colmox. Dr. Warren, shout out to Dr. Louis Warren, my cousin there. I, I just did it out of order, so I'm gonna carry on. One extended and two. We'll carry on with this out of sequence order because I am out of order. We got an Ovechkin Glossy, green retail exclusive Dazzler, Tyler Toffoli, and a PC of Bergeron. I got talking so much, I just forgot what I was doing here. I'm ripping cards open for you guys to watch, so sorry if I went on a little bit rambling there. I had to address those things, the meaning to discuss some of the issues. Two years, yeah, I don't know exactly when it was I started posting videos, but it was sometime around two years ago that I started doing this. Taves, Petrano. And I didn't know a thing about editing back then. I've not learned a whole lot since. Another Devin Levi. This is from Series 1, Glossy. You can tell the difference with the copper. R6, i put my Levi's here. Another Green Dazzler, Eck, Erickson Eck. Teacher's pet, Matthew Tuchuk with his little. It's like, you know, lids from a neck blad. Off. Okay, back to a extended pack. See, look, how does that rip? How does that damage cards? I am holding the cards tightly behind there, and I just popped. The, I don't know. I guess it. There is potential of damaging the cards, but I'm being careful. Okay, here we go with what do we got in the middle? Okay, seeing red retail. Oh, cool! I got a Shane Doan acetate of the hockey heroes. Long time Coyote. His whole career with the Jets and the Coyotes. Captain Shane, now the Utah team. And I got seeing, seeing red retail only, Kucherov. And Young Guns, Adam Edstrom. Adam Edstrom, Young Guns. Yeah, Edstrom. I, I wish I had knowledge about him, but know nothing about Adam Edstrom. There's a lot of Rangers fans out there that probably are going, you idiot. A lot of people just saying that without even being Rangers fans too. Okay, we got, we got something sparkly in this pack. I got a 
This is a Series 2 pack again. We got a Sparkle PCs of Aho. I got a Young Guns, Mintikoff. Mintikoff, it's okay. Fit a few of him and graded a couple of them. Mintikoff, I did, I'm not sure if I still have a 10 in the eBay store or not. I'll have to check that out. Pardon me while I, that card has sold. I think, actually, I think I did sell it at the last card show. Panarin the bread man and the portraits, crazy card, and instinct of Jacob Markstrom, not sparkly. Barrett Hayton, Vogel, past man, and Blackwell. Okay, back to Series 1 Blaster. Series 1 pack, once again, third pack, halfway through the break, here we go. Frederick, fan favorite. Star Surge, Jake Sanderson. My last autographed hit was uh, in a future watch. I had the retro of him not too long ago. Got a 200 by 85 Luke Evangelista. There's a hundred of these. Tough, uh, the hardest insert set to finish, I think, was this one. 85 and a Mark Stone, the Golden Knights helmet of honor and a cool painting. Hey, cool, Devin Levi's. Dealing the break here. My third Levi hit. And I got a solid Young Guns there. That one has quality issues along the top edge just for those that grade everything. I sell cards graded and ungraded. Graded cards are something I'm fairly new to doing, submitting for grading. It's easier to buy graded cards and resell them rather than submit your own because as we've seen I've had mixed results on my submissions. Back to an extended pack, second last one. Follow Gosses Bear Donato. We got silver skates. Kempe. Adrian Kempe with his silver helmet on. Go with the silver skates. There's a Alex Tuck. Alex Tuck pumped up to score a goal. I like the seeing red inserts. And the beehives. A little harder to read the name. Travis Konechny. Kulikov and Mayfield. Okay, series two, second last pack. We got one more Young Guns in each pack, I think. And Jack Eichel, glossy. Young Guns canvas, Jet Greaves. All kinds of goalies in this break. I've hit that card before, if I'm not mistaken. Three stars, oh, lottery. Jet Greaves, Young Guns canvas. You know how he factors in with Merzlikens being their guy, number one. Deep. Roots. Double F, Philip Forsberg, Mark Nuke, Marier, Novak, Gensel, and Alex Tuk. Tuk, 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 Tuk. Okay, my last series one pack. Try to be more careful. It's just habit. I just want to get in there so bad. Tyson Berry, Power, Cheryl, Ekman Larson, another glossy, Luke Vangelista. He's had popularity right from the get-go. Played well last year. Here's Durando. Debut dates. Loser rail card. Just, uh, yeah, we'll just throw that one somewhere. I don't collect him. Actually, never really did. Raphael Harvey Pinard. You can find him in that box. The Young Guns is a popular card. I don't think it's worth a whole lot. But Cat of Hat just went right into my base pile. Series 2 will save for the last, just in case. I haven't been paying attention to how many young guns have been showing up out of which box, so I think there's an SP in here, or a uh, top picture of young guns, I believe, is in this pack. There's Crosby's All-Star Guard. There's a Green Dazzler's Eagle. Just Sturkin. Luke Hughes, top draft. I know I needed that one to fill in the set, but I'm not really building the set to have variety in my inventory. That's, that's a new one for me. And there's a Shattenkirk. Okay, well, this last pack, Series 2, might do it. You never know. That's why we rip. I hit a good Bedard there not too long ago. I hope I get another one in the credentials coming out this week. That should be a couple of days. I should have a video up on release day or the next day. I'm not sure if I'm going to get it in time to get up on release day. We'll see. I'm mixed on credentials. I haven't had good luck over the year with the product, but maybe this is my year. Thanks again for watching, everybody. 
There we go, with this last pack. Nurse! Morgan Riley. He didn't lose this A, although some people lost the letters off their shirt. I don't say he lost the letter, but Tavares' time had come and gone. E2. That guy. Zaitsev. Sissons. Jackson Lacombe. Oh, well, not Bedard. That is not Bedard at all. But a solid D-man for the for the Ducks. Denoye and a PCs of Matty Beniers. Let's look for him to have a better year this year. Last year, sophomore jinx. Okay, well, that was fun. Always is. I don't know what's next coming up. It'll probably be credentials. And then after that, who knows? I've got um, a couple more of these Series 2 tins as well. We'll see. We'll see. Take it easy, folks. As always, keep on collecting.